Okay, so in the previous class, we have discussed how to find the KC, how to write the KC expression and drive the unit. So in the last equation, which we have discussed, see, there is a solid. So I have informed you that when there is a solid, there will be no concentration of solid. So we will not going to keep it in the KC expression. Is this clear to all of you? Yes. Okay. So note this point over here. If chemical equation contains a substance in aqueous state, then we write only those substances in KC expression which are in aqueous state only any other state is Ignore. Yes, Yusuf and Kubra, is this clear to both of you? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. If no substance is in aqueous state, then in KC expression, We include the substance which are in gaseous state only. So see, in this equation, as request, as we have substance which are in aqueous state, so we mentioned only those substances. And if you see over here, these substances are gases. So if there are no aqueous, then we include all the gaseous substances in the KC expression. And if there is anything any equation containing the aqueous substances. So we'll write only aqueous substances in the KC expression, not any other state. Is this clear to all of you? Yes. Okay. Now. Hey. There are few uh, questions that we are going to do.
So this is the very simple question. These kind of question normally asked. Ethanoic acid can be reacted with alcohols to form esters in equilibrium mixture and equilibrium be mixture being formed. See the reversible sign shows that there, there is an equilibrium reaction. The reaction is usually carried out in the presence of an acid catalyst. Write an expression for the equilibrium constant Kc for this reaction clearly stating the unit. So you have to do two things. You have to write the Kc expression as well as units. So as we know, these are the products and these are the reactants. If you see the whole equation has no one, one number of one mole of each of the substance. So when I will write the Kc expression, it will be like this CH3 CO2R concentration of ester times concentration of water divided by concentration of ethanoic acid times concentration of alcohol. Is this clear to all of you? Now, if we go for the units, so in denominator, we have concentration of two substances. So mole per dm cube in numerator times mole per dm cube. And in denominator also, we have the concentration of two substances. So mole per dm cube times mole per dm cube. So they all will cancel out and we got no unit. Is this clear to all of you? H2O to liquid H is the concentration to liquid. Okay. But if the solution is aqueous, so that aqueous solution is formed in the, it means that it is in water, isn't it? Yes. And the other thing, it, the number of moles of this would form can be measurable and it is also a part of the aqueous solution, isn't it? Okay, sir. They are not separate from the aqueous solution, right? Okay. So, so that's why we will keep it. Okay. Now, Yusuf and Ahmed, is this clear to both of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, we have another question to do. So let's start with this question. NO is also found when nitrosyl chloride dissociates according to the following equation. Okay, in this following equation, you will see that this is the reversible reaction. They have provided you this equation. Different amount of three gases were placed in a closed container and allowed to come to equilibrium at 230 degrees Celsius. The experiment was repeated at 465 degrees Celsius. 
the equilibrium concentration of the three gases at each temperature are given in the table below. Okay. So here we have the concentrations of these gases at 230 degrees Celsius and these are the concentration of these gases at 465 degrees Celsius. But important thing over here is these concentrations are which concentrations? If you see, they are equilibrium concentrations. It means these are not the concentrations which were taken or which, when, which were used when the reaction is started. But when the equilibrium is established, the, these are the those concentrations when the equilibrium is established. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, just give me a minute, please. Okay. Now what they are saying, write the expression for the equilibrium constant Kc for this reaction, give the units. Okay. So for this reaction, if we will write the Kc expression, so Kc is equals to concentration of NO raised to the power 2 times concentration of chlorine divided by concentration of NaCl raised to the power 2. Is this clear to all of you? Yeah. Now when we go yes, for sir. the unit, there is a square of the concentration of one substance in the numerator and the other substance has only its concentration and in denominator, there is a square of the concentration of one substance. So these two will cancel out. So unit will be or unit is mole per dm cube. Is this clear? Yes. Is it clear to all of you? Okay. Yes, sir. Now what they are saying, calculate the value of Kc. at each of the temperatures given. So remember, whenever we have to calculate Kc, concentration at equilibrium is needed and we has this. In this question, they have directly given you the concentrations at equilibrium C. C. They have mentioned over here equilibrium concentration. So these are the concentrations at equilibrium. Okay. Now if I solve the question. So for 230 degrees Celsius, Kc is equals to concentration of NO is 1.46 exponent minus 3 raised to the power 2 times concentration of chlorine, which is 1.15 exponent minus 2. Divided by concentration of NOCl, which is 2.33 exponent minus 3 square. See, I have used these concentrations. Okay. Can anyone solve it and tell me the answer, please? And now I'm going to put the KC expressions at 465 degrees Celsius. Sir, 4.5 exponent minus 2. 4.5 exponent minus 3 exponent minus 3 can anyone cross check please if if in case there is a any cal error in calculation so here i am going to put 7.63 exponent minus 4.5 exp sorry 
4.5 x plus minus 3. You are getting the same answer, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. So 7.63 exponent minus 3 is the concentration of NO. And as in the PC expression, its concentration is squared. So I have, I will put the square over here. Then concentration of chlorine at 465 degree Celsius is 2.14 exponent minus 4 divided by concentration of NOCl. Concentration of NOCl is 3.68. Exponent minus four and again square. So can anyone solve it and tell me the answer, please? 0 0.091. 0 0.091. Can anyone please cross check? I'm getting the same answer. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, have a look at part three. Is the forward reaction endothermic or exothermic? Explain your answer. Yes, who will going to explain this? Okay, let me write the expression, chemical equation over here. So we don't have to move. Scroll the page up and down two more I know and Cl2. This is the equation. Yes, can anyone tell me? Can anyone ex explain this? Sorry, please. Again. Endothermic. Endothermic. Why? Because the temperature is increasing and the forward reaction is occurring. How, how could you know a forward reaction is occurring? Temperature hmm. So if we are increasing the temperature, now we perform the reaction at two, you know, in two conditions, in 230 degrees Celsius and at, at 465 degrees Celsius. How can you say that it's exotherm endothermic, the forward reaction is endothermic? Justify your answer if you are saying this. Yes. Sir, when uh, temperature increases, so the reactant will be more quickly react. If the product is more formed, then the equilibrium will be right. But, but it can oh. also be happen, as we have discussed, that it can go back as well on increasing the temperature. So how could you know that the forward reaction occurs when the temperature is increased? How you justify this? See over here, if you look at the KC expression, in KC expression in numerator, what we has called reactants or products? Yes. Yes, if you guys look at the KC expression, what we has in numerator are these reactants or products? Products. 
product so can we say that kc is directly proportional to the product can yes we so it means yes it means that if kc is higher which means that the product is higher the products are more isn't it yes now see at 230 degree celsius what is the value of kc 4.5 exponent 4 minus 3, right? But at 465 degrees Celsius, when the temperature is increased, what is the value of Kc? 0 0.091, right? So which one has a greater value, higher temperature or the lower temperature? Higher temperature. So it means that when the temperature is raised, the Kc value gets higher, a greater Kc value indicating more product will form. So see, this is the justification. So if you just don't justify your answer, you will not get the mark. Is it understandable to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Ahmed, did you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, Kubra, did you understand? Fine. Okay. So we will write. forward reaction is endothermic because at higher temperature AC value gets higher indicating more product is formed. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the temperature of the equilibrium was then altered. So it means they again changed the equilibrium. So that the equilibrium concentrations of NOCl and NO were the same as each other. Okay. So they have established, uh, they have plotted some that specific temperature conditions on which these two get same. What will be the effect of equilibrium concentration of NOCl when the following changes are carried out on this new equilibrium? In each case, explain your answer. Okay. So let me write the equation over here. The equation was 2 NOCl. Form two moles of NO plus Cl2. Okay, now the pressure of the system is half. <laughs> they have decreased the pressure. So what happens when the pressure is decreased? Or or when we decrease the pressure, at which position, at which side the equilibrium will shift? Yes, can anyone recall? Sir, to the right, uh, when when it shifts to the right, more moles of gas are at product side. More moles of the, yes. See, if you see that there are more moles of the pro, product, of the gas are product side, so the equilibrium would shift to the right. Basically, when we, in, decrease the pressure equilibrium shifts in a direction where there are more moles of a gas is this clear to all of you yes 
So, yes, sir. So, if the equilibrium shifts to the right, so what happens to the equilibrium concentration of NOCl? Yes, as pressure is halved, equilibrium shifts to right because right hand side has more moles of gas. So what happens to the concentration of NOCl? Will, will it increase or decrease? Yes, if equilibrium is shifting towards right, then Yes, see, it's NOCl is on pro reactant side and equilibrium is shifting in this direction. So, what will happen to its concentration? Yes. Is there any confusion in predicting this? Yes, Ashal, Ahmad, and you, sir. The concentration of NOCl would decrease, yes, because when it's shifting towards right, so it means more NOCl turns into this, as a result, it will decrease. So I will write that the equilibrium concentration of NOCl decreased. Yes, is this clear? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, now what they are saying next? A mixture of NOCl and NO containing equal number of moles of each gas is introduced into the container at constant temperature. So, yes, if the temperature is constant and we have the initial equilibrium, this one, where they are both have equal moles. So if we add the equal moles in both the NO and NOCl in that equilibrium mixture, then what do you think where the equilibrium position must shift? Yes. Yes, who will answer this? Uh, sir, can you please repeat? If you read the question, they have given you this condition, which is written at the start of D here. This is the condition. And in this condition, they did this. So where, what do you think where the equilibrium position will shift? Why? Yes, why? Yes, Ahmed, can you explain? See, 
they these two if you see these two gets equal to each other isn't it yes sir so if i if we add equal amounts of both then what then will it affect the equilibrium no sir yes very good it will not affect the equilibrium so it means that the position of equilibrium would not change and as a result there will be no change in the equilibrium concentration of NS, NOCl as well. No change in equilibrium position as the as equal number of moles increased both side hence no change in equilibrium concentration of NOCl. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, Emma then Yusuf. Yes, sir. Okay. No. We will look into another question. Okay, Ahmed. Okay, read this question carefully, then I will explain. Okay, let's have a look at this question. A mixture of six gram of a mixture of six gram of ethanoic acid and six gram of ethanol. So what they have given you, which quantity is provided to you, was added to four point four gram ethyl ethanoate, and then overall mixture allowed to reach equilibrium. What does this indicate? that these are the initial masses of these three substances. Is this clear? Yes. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Now, it was found that 0 0.04 mole of ethanoic acid was present in the equilibrium mixture. So it means these are the moles which are at equilibrium. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you have to calculate the number of moles of each compound, both initially and at equilibrium. So initially we got their masses. So what we will do to find the moles, we will use the formula mass upon MR. And for to find the moles at equilibrium, as there we don't know the moles at equilibrium. So for this, remember, you will always draw the ice table. Okay. You will always draw the ice table where I refers to initial, C refers to change, and E refers to equilibrium. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so to find the moles of ethanoic acid, see it's the ethanoic acid, so let's find its MR. There are two carbons which makes it 24. Four hydrogens, so 24 plus 4, 40, 28. And two oxygens, 32. So 28 and 32, 60. It's MR. Two carbons, 24. One oxygen, 16 is 40. And six hydrogens, 46. Okay, it's 18, you know. And it would be 60 plus 46 is 106. And from 106, as water is released, so it remove uh, 18. So 106 minus 16 is 90 and minus 2 is 88. So its MR would be 88. You can calculate and confirm it. So we got the number MRs. We had these more grams. So initial moles would be for ethanoic acid 6 divided by 60. So it's very easy. See, you will get 0.1. And here to find the mole 6 divided by 46. And here, 4.4 divided by 88. So here you will get 0 0.05. Can anybody tell me the answer over here, what it is? So 0 0.13. Is it 0? No. I don't think so. Okay, yeah. Sure, yeah. 0 0.13. So we got the initial moles. Till here, is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, Ahmed Kubra and Yusuf. Yes, sir. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these moles over here. 0 0.1, 0 0.13, 0 0.05. And Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, see, I have told you that we have to make the ice table. So this would be the ice table. It's I and it's E. It means these are the equilibrium con amounts. And this is C, which is a change. So we got the initial concentration, initial moles. And if you see over here, for ethanoic acid, we know what are the initial moles and what are the equilibrium moles. So can we identify the change that took place over here? The change in moles, how many moles are changed? Yes, sir. Yes, how many moles are changed? 0 0.06. 0 0.06, okay. Is this change is a negative change or a positive change? Negative negative change because it's decreased initially it's 0.1 and then afterwards it becomes 0.04 so it indicates a negative change so what i'm going to do i'm going to put over here 0 
Now, if you see the mole ratio between these two, what is the mole ratio between these two? Is it one is to one? Yes, sir. Yes. So it means if the change over here is 0 0.06, then the other reactant is also decreased by 0 0.06. When I subtract these two values, I will get the moles of alcohol at equilibrium. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Ahmed. Yusuf and Kubra. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the ratio between these two? What is the mole ratio between these two? Yes, what is the mole ratio between these two? So, one is to one. One is to one? Yes. Okay. So, it means, but it's the product, right? So, it means the number of moles over here which are decreased, the same number of moles over here would be increased. So, here I am going to put positive 0 0.06. So, this is the change. If you look at the mole ratio of this and with water, so they also has an equal same ratio. So, it means that here also the number of moles, the change in the moles is 0 0.06. Now, if I add them, I will get 0 0.11 and here I will get 0 0.06. Is this clear to all of you? Yes. yes. Sir. So you got the number of moles at equilibrium. Now they are saying to calculate the KC expression. Okay. So remember, uh, these are the moles and in KC expression, which quantity we use? Yes, in KC expression, which quantity we use? Yes, the value which we put in this expression, which quantity it is. Concentration of ester times concentration of water divided by times concentration of ethanoic acid times concentration of Okay, is this clear to all of you till here? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, if there are equal, you know, things in the denominator and numerator, where you will get no unit, in that case, you can directly use the moles instead of converting it into a concentration. Otherwise, if at any, in any equilibrium, yes, Kubra, very good. If in any equilibrium, if any one of the, uh, if we are getting any unit, it means all of the units would not cancel. Then in that case, we have to convert it into the equilibrium, into the concentration. We can't do it without it. We can't do solve without turning into the equilibrium uh, concentrations. But here I can, because all the units would be canceled out. So the all the volume would also be canceled out. So. I will directly put the mole, so it would be 0 0.11 times 0 0.06 concentrations of the products at equilibrium divided by 0 0.04 times 0 0.07. Yes, can anyone solve and tell me the answer, please? So 
said 2.357. Okay, can anyone? Yes, sir, same. 2.357. Okay, we always put the answer in three significant figures. So if you are saying 2.357, so you will write the answer 2.36. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, now in next class, we are going to do few more uh, questions for KC. Then we will move to the next subtopic KP. For today, I'm keeping the class till here only, okay? Okay, take care, everyone. Thank you very much. Allah has. Allah has. Allah has.